So far, all, all the past few years, uh, the last two decades actually, we've been looking at nausea and vomiting together. And we had many, many developments, new antiemetic drugs, new developments, uh, risk models. Uh, but we just realized that we can manage well vomiting, but nausea is becoming a bigger problem. So we need to split the two and refocus our efforts to understanding better nausea as opposed to vomiting. At the moment, um, we know very little about nausea because we connected it so much with vomiting, but we started realizing the pathophysiology behind it is different, and we don't know exactly what's going on with that. And the reasons why patients develop nausea also may be different and beyond just the chemotherapy they receive or the treatment they receive. Over the past um, 10 to 15 years, we've seen a huge increase in the industry investment in uh, identifying new pathways and new receptors that are um, managing nausea and vomiting better. And we've seen a number of new medications that actually change the picture of nausea and vomiting. If we go back 20, 25 years, we had very few antiemetics. Uh, they weren't very potent. And it was a very typical example that um, even some of the necessary doctors working into the room with the patients um, to give them chemotherapy, it would make them vomit. And we're not taking this personally. Uh, it was part of um, uh, a number of um, a collective um, package of things happening to the patients, making them vomit, not just the chemotherapy. From that moment onwards, uh, we developed new medication. The 5-HT3 receptor antagonist came in in the early 90s. That changed completely the picture of nausea and vomiting. Um, and in the last decade, we have uh, identified a new pathway, the NK1 um, receptors, um, and we developed antagonists. And this last year, we had the third um, NK1 receptor coming into the market. Uh, they do more things around nausea compared to the 5-HT3s alone, uh, but not uh, eliminating completely the, the problem. So we moved from uh, the vast majority of the patients vomiting and feeling nauseous 20 years ago to about 10 to 15% of the patients actually feeling uh, vomiting, uh, experiencing, sorry, vomiting, but still about up to 70% of patients feeling nausea.